that knowledge that just takes away yeah. that lie mm. that I have to strive or it just the knowledge of something good. If we all woke up and said something good is going to happen to me today, that would take so much striving and so much responsibility off my yeah. plate to, to think that I have to do something today, but that God is gonna do something for me. As comfort, as Lord, Savior, God Almighty in control of all things, you know? Yeah. It's it's uh it's an amazing topic, the Trinity, and I think we never stop learning and yeah. never stop seeing and feeling and experiencing God in all his many facets, the essence of God, the essence of the three in one. You know, I love what Victoria said about God being three in one because he wanted to meet every one of our needs. God as this beautiful heavenly Father, Jesus our perfect Redeemer, the one who sacrificed, took the sin, all of our shame, became our Savior, and then the Holy Spirit who leads us and who guides us and who sticks with us. He's on the inside of us. He's with us, leading us into all truth and um, helping us every day. My husband was reading a book and he was trying to explain it to me about the Trinity um, and it was about Trinitarian theology. And I was like, I just already need to lie down. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a math project. Uh, don't make us explain <laughs> this. Yeah. And there's a reason my husband took advanced math. Mm -hmm. and I did. He was so passionate. I was like, mm -mm. So basically what you're saying is, this is how I understood it, is mm -hmm. every Christian is a Trinitarian theologian because the Holy Spirit introduced us to Jesus mm. and Jesus showed us who the father is yes. mm -hmm. and that's it it yeah. sounds like this advanced lofty like brain busting thing but actually when you break it down we are all trinitarian theolo theologians yeah. because that's what it breaks down to we come to the father through the son through the holy spirit who introduced us and that is how i actually grasped the trinity mm. i was like his maths the way that he relates to it and then actually to me it just was so simple all the way through the spirit to jesus to the father in one mm. and sometimes like you know when you get into certain crises I'm like this is a moment where I need my husband right now mm. or I'm like he's probably going to tell me off so I'm going to call this friend <laughs> <laughs> or you know maybe I need like a professional mm -hmm. and I've got these options but it's not like that you're not like well today I need to call on God you know and then tomorrow I might well, need to yeah. talk to Jesus and like this is a moment for the spirit they're all one you know we are created spirit we live in a we have a soul we live in a body and that's kind of the way we're we're created, mm -hmm. but I love I, I love what you said, Victoria. I love that that the Godhead is everything that we need. Mm -hmm. Jesus had to go away because if he didn't go away, he said, "I can't send the Comforter mm -hmm. to come to yeah. come back." And and oh, how we need the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. you know. And we needed a Savior to die for our sins, and we need God to love us mm -hmm. and God to have mercy and grace on us. And, and with that is just the fullness of God. When you're working, he's resting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you're resting, he's working. Nice. Yes. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. yes. We want, if we want the rest of God. Wow. Yeah. The whole fullness of God, we've got to rest in yes. him. Mm -hmm. So, you know, because yeah. it's, as long as we're working. Yeah. He's resting. Striving. Yeah. Yes. Striving. <laughs> I love how Peter says grace and peace. So when you're peaceful, you're at rest, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God, of and of Christ, our Lord, as his divine power has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him. And so if you start, if you start reading second Peter one, I love, I love this passage of scripture because it's all about just getting to know God. Mm. And when you start tasting and seeing, and all of a sudden you're, 
it's like being all tense about stuff and we're not at peace and we're not at rest and we're striving and we're we're confused and there's chaos going on around us and then God and and then you hear that it's okay God's got this okay mm-hmm. all right and, and then you loosen up maybe just a little bit and then <laughs> all of a sudden you get the phone call that says hey this is all taken care of and you go oh oh okay and then your husband comes home and tells you how pretty you are. And I go, oh, okay. <laughs> you know? And all of a sudden, that tense and the knowledge and and just peace starts just, you know how that happens? Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. know. Sometimes that just happens yeah. to me. And all of a sudden, it can be a simple phone call. It's, hey, I just saw that that bill is paid. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, it is? I knew I paid that bill. Or it, it that knowledge that just takes away yeah. that lie mm-hmm. that I have to strive or it just the knowledge of something good. If we all woke up and said something good is going to happen to me today, that would take so much striving and so much responsibility yeah. off my yeah. plate yes. to, to think that I have to do something today. Mm-hmm. but that God is going to do something for me. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's not what I'm doing. It's what God is doing. And so as I know him, as I just open my open my Bible and start reading that grace and peace be multiplied, mm-hmm. everything that pertains to life and mm-hmm. to godliness is yours today mm-hmm. through the knowledge of me. Just get to know me mm-hmm. and all grace and all peace is multiplied through the knowledge that pertains to life. Well, does my health pertain to life? Yes. Mm-hmm. Does does my provision pertain to life? Yes. Well, it's all found through the knowledge mm-hmm. of who God says he is. So the more we look here to just get to know him, and, and I know that sounds kind of funny sometimes, is how do we get to know God? Well, how do we get to know God? Worship? <laughs> Right? He says that I am loved. Yes. I am. I, God so loved me today that he gave his only son for me. I truly believe that. Do you know how that sets me free? Yes. For sure. You so know? Nice. And so if you just start believing the promises, the precious promises, he says, of God, if we just start believing what God says and we get that knowledge of him, of how he feels about us, yeah. don't you think that's going to change your life? <laughs> that is going to turn your world upside down and everything that pertains to life and godliness is found in who he says he is. Wow. And that becomes that the trinity of everything that I need. So since we can have faith and trust, in a God that loves us so much, and a Savior that died for us, and the Holy Spirit that comforts us. We can have peace and we can have rest, knowing that He's always with us. He's everything that we need. He's, um, you know, when we talk about a good Father, He's the one that covers under the shadow of the Almighty, under His wings, we take refuge. That And that's such a beautiful, beautiful p- picture of who God is to us. And so the whole three persons of the Trinity um, is so beautifully um, represented all in one essence of who God is. It's funny because I know that talking about the Trinity, talking about God as one in three parts, three persons, Mm -hmm. you know, like like people talk about, like I've heard people go, well, you can't say the Holy Spirit. You have to say Holy Spirit. And I'm like, it would be like saying the Victoria Osteen. And I'd be like, I like that. <laughs> the one and only. <laughs> but, you know, we get so hung up on things. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, oh, I got to call him Holy Spirit. Can't call him the Holy Spirit, yeah. you know. Right. But uh, I think when we just don't get hung up on all yeah. of this and try because you really can't explain how God changes you from the inside mm-hmm. out. You can't explain. Okay. You can see it if you walk with him long enough. You yeah. can feel it. Yeah. You notice it. Yeah. You realize, man, what used to, the attitude I used to have, I can, I can catch it now or I don't have it anymore mm-hmm. or I don't, you can't, you can't explain it out on paper, 
but you sense it and you mm-hmm. feel it. And I think that's how also you get to know God and you realize he is Emmanuel, God with us, wow. God in us. That's what we pray every morning. <laughs> we start better together. It's like, Holy Spirit, we need you. Yes. We need mm-hmm. you to bring back to remembrance yeah. stories and testimonies yeah. and scriptures and, you know, and knowing that we are completely nothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Without God, yeah. I would be so lost. I would be so pathetic, a pathetic human, <laughs> if I didn't have God as my good father, Jesus as my savior, and the Holy Spirit to help renew and transform my life yeah. and to lead and guide. And I love that that each one of the persons of the Trinity has such a profound a profound as- aspect, I mean, many, but I mean, that we needed a savior. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and that was God himself in the form of human man. Mm-hmm. And, and when Jesus died on the cross, he always called him heavenly father, my father. Mm-hmm. And at that time it was my God. And here is God in human form, mm-hmm. completely sin for us. So God took sin for us. Mm-hmm. It was God who did that for us, our Father that became sin, Jesus, and then won for us, got all authority. There's all authority in Christ, and then gave us the Holy Spirit. You know what I love about God is He knows what we need. He knows every facet of our lives. He knows that that when we're grieving, we need a comforter. He knows that when we need to uh, fulfill our destiny and purpose, we need truth. We need empowerment by the Holy Spirit. He knew we needed a Savior, and so He sent His Son. So God knew what we needed, and He gave us everything in God Himself, in these three beautiful persons. And um, I think... You know, I don't think we fully understand the whole grasp of it, but I'm sure looking forward to eternity to be able to figure it out somehow. I just think if people can can grasp the thought that he he helps us, it's not just God up there that's watching and we're down here mm-hmm. striving on our own. Yeah. 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 We're not on our own. We're not alone. We're not we're not left helpless and fatherless. He has sent his help. to us, to transform us, to give us the power Mm. to be transformed, to give us the power to go and sin no more, to give us the power to walk in grace. And that's where it's because of the grace of God. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. And it's because of you that partner with us that this ministry continues. God bless you.